Hello guys, it's T-Bone 310 and I'm going to tell you another story time. This story is about how I slipped and it was the worst pain I ever experienced. So it was just an ordinary day, okay? So, uh, I was I usually just get around the block with my brother. So we went around this thin road a couple times already. It was not really that bad, I didn't know. We're, we're heading our way over there. And I, di I didn't know anything was going to happen that day. That road, it, like, it was poorly made. It has a bunch of holes in the ground and stuff. We have soft wheels, like uh, cloud wheels, I think. And they go through rocks and cracks pretty easily, but sometimes they don't. Sometimes there's these rocks or dirt rocks in the ground. And when it runs it over, it makes this uh, squeaky sound. Not squeaky, like scrapey sound. And then when it makes that sound, we fall, we fall, but it's not that bad. We don't really get that hurt, but yeah, that's the cloud wheels are good. So we were skating around this place. We skated around a couple times and... The, uh, the roads I really don't like is the roads with the rocks and stuff because those roads are annoying like just for design purpose and it's horrible so so we skated the, um, this skinny road many times before and it, skating it was like basically skating anywhere else it was I didn't really think much of it it was like the road was poorly maintained it was crappy it had all these holes on the ground it's nothing like skating a parking lot road or a skate park road. Those roads are very easy to do ollies while this road had a bunch of bumps and rocks and cracks in the ground. Sorry for the little tangent. I was just trying to explain how crappy these roads really are. So anyway, we were just skating around this skinny road. Before we went there, we hit this big uh, crack and the skateboard made that disgusting sound and we, I slowed down a little bit. Until next you know that we got close to that skinny road. And my brother was telling me to speed up a little bit. But I didn't listen. I just pedaled once. And I was going at moderate pace. And out of nowhere the nose of my the nose of the trucks. The first wheel hit that big hole. And I launched forward. And as I launched forward my skateboard hit my brother's leg. And I honestly. First I scraped my knee. And then I hit my elbow really hard on the concrete and at first my first thoughts were oh shit I just hit the ground and I, it didn't really hurt but as soon the second I got up okay guys the very second I got up my arm felt weak it felt like somebody I, I felt like I broke my sh elbow seriously guys and like it felt like a cloud man it felt really light and I couldn't move it at all and I was trying my hardest not to cry man and I, the, my brother brought some uh, waters in his backpack and I just unzipped his backpack and my arm couldn't even hold the weight of the water bottle It was that serious guys It hurt a lot, okay? I, I was hoping nobody was looking but unfortunately there was a couple people that saw and out, Like it hurt like overwhelming. It was overwhelming man. I was trying not to cry It hurt a lot. So I decided to walk home and because I if I skate if I fell again while I was skating then that would hurt a lot, man. I think I would have broke my arm be because, like, my arm felt tired, dude. And the hallway over there when I was walking home, I felt dizzy. I felt like I was about to pass out. And it was not it was not pleasant at all. Yeah, but when I was walking over there, my, like, everybody was looking at me because, like, my arm was bleeding. My hand was bleeding. I just looked like a zombie or something. And I was just walking, and I felt tired. I just wanted this walk to be over with. I finally got home. I, I, I just couldn't wait to rest because like, I, like it, it just hurt a lot. So I drank some cold water, I rubbed some alcohol on the cuts. But the cuts weren't my main concern, it was mostly about the elbow. It hurt, it hurt, like, it was the worst pain ever. I couldn't move, I couldn't extend my elbow fully forward. It was stuck like that for, it was stuck, it was stuck like that for a, about two weeks. And after the two weeks, it started getting, it started getting better, but I slipped again from trying to do another trick. And that hurt a lot, but like, yeah, that's the end of this video, guys. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe if you're new. And yeah, uh, that's the end of this video.